Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today, let's look at borrowing books from the library using your iPad. So, you may not realize this, but you can use your iPad to borrow books from the library. I'm not talking about actual physical books, I'm talking about getting the books onto your iPad. First thing you want to do is check with your local library, search for its website, and see if they have an ebook lending program. And if they do, see if they have any information about getting those ebooks onto your iPad or iPhone. And audiobooks as well. I found that my local library has such a program and I'm able to actually borrow these books directly on my iPad using an app that they recommended. First I used my library card to establish an online account. Then I was able to browse the books they had available for lending online. Now first you want to pay careful attention to formats. There are all sorts of different formats and some of these can be played fine on your Mac, say using Adobe Reader, but they won't work on an ebook reader on the iPad. Same thing for audio files. Some of them will work on your Mac, some will only work on PC, and others will work on the iPad or your iPhone. So my library directed me to download the OverDrive app, the OverDrive Media Console, and here is where I was able to browse books and audiobooks uh, from my local library. So here's some that I've downloaded. I did that by tapping Get Books Plus at the upper right and then I had to add a website which was a little difficult to, to figure out what they actually wanted me to do but eventually I was able to get the Denver Public Library added and if I tap on it it actually launches Safari so it goes outside of the OverDrive Media uh, app and this is just me browsing Safari on my uh, you know, logged into my Denver Public Library account. Once I found a book that I wanted, um, I hit the download link and it had registered the OverDrive Media app to actually uh, uh, receive that document. So I was then able to go back to OverDrive and see it appear in my library. So here, for instance, is a EPUB book. And I'm able to flip through it. It's not as pretty as iBooks. There's no special effects, but I'm just able to flick on the right and look through this book. Um, and there's some bookmarking functionality there. Definitely much more difficult to use. You have to tap in just the right spot to bring things up. Uh, you can bring up the controls there, table of contents, change the font size. Now for audiobooks. So it'll tap on that and then simply play that through whatever device I'm using. I was actually able to use AirPlay as well to uh, to play it, and um, it seemed to seemed to work pretty well. Though it was disappointing that it seems I can only download this book to my iPad now. I've, I've taken it out of the library and it's on my iPad. And now, if I want to move it to my iPhone where I would normally listen to audiobooks. Uh, doesn't seem to be a way to do that. I have to return the book and then take it out onto my iPhone. So libraries buy licenses to lend these books, which means they can only lend out number of copies that they have licenses for. So if they have one copy of a book, they can lend it out once and nobody else can actually borrow that book at the same time. So you're going to find all these books that you can only put on hold. You can't actually borrow right now onto your iPad. This means that selection is usually slim. I found very few books available in the first place and then very few of them actually available at this moment not being borrowed by somebody else. So while borrowing books from your library over your iPad does seem to be an interesting option, it doesn't look like it's one that will replace buying books anytime soon. So check with your local library, see what sort of program they've got and whether or not you can borrow their books on your iPad. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.